G'day trendsetters and welcome to the Team Gravel Cyclist Training Camp held in a beautiful part of upstate South Carolina. This was a two day camp and the footage you're seeing right now is from day one with approximately 51 miles or 82 kilometers on tap if you're of the metric persuasion. The course would ascend about 3,800 feet vertically or about 1,150 meters. I would say the course is 70% dirt and gravel roads and the rest being pavement that doesn't see very much traffic. In other words, a gravel paradise. Joining me for the camp was Jimbo, the camp host and route planner, the Belgian Diesel and the duo of Mr. and Mrs. K-Dog. The temperatures were markedly cooler than those we've been experiencing in our part of North Central Florida. And here we are on hike about heading to a waterfall. Skills development is a good part of a camp, so we all tested our balance in cycling shoes walking across a log. I'm happy to report that nobody fell in. As you can see in my Garmin 830, this part of the world is not flat. Also, take a gander at the video description below for a link to my review of this most excellent navigation computer and more. In addition to climbing, this camp was an excellent test of one's descending skills. And on that subject, be sure to check out my descending on gravel video, including tips from Dave Zabriskie, linked in the video description below. For those wondering, I'm riding the 3T Explorer review bike, fitted out with SRAM Red Axis ETAP in a two bike configuration. Jimbo was riding a Rally Roker in a one bike configuration, although he forgot to install his climbing cassette, so he was a little overgeared at times. Tree canopy adorned just about every gravel road along our route, shielding us from the heat of the sun. Day trendsetters coming to you from somewhere in South Carolina. We're doing a 84-ish mile gravel ride with a lot of climbing with uh, the company of K-Dog. Climbing and loving it. Indeed. Also joining us for the fun was Vince, promoter of the Saluda Rebay event, which I've linked in the video description below. Vince wouldn't be joining us for a good chunk of the route as his vintage Eddie Merckx road bike fitted with 28mm tyres just couldn't cut it on these chunky South Carolina gravel roads. This course was a mix of about 70% gravel and the rest being very quiet pavement. Wee dogger. The climbing mate. How are you feeling? I mentioned that feel amazing. You did. Hey uh, 
day, Jimbo. Yeah, man. What do you got to say for yourself, mate? Well, we've done 19 miles and 2,700 feet of climbing. What about the Belgian? Hello, Belgian. He's hey, happy. What I'm thinking about is a beer tonight, man. Hey, good morning, Jason. An exclusive climate here. For us, wakker kunnen we deze morgen. We liggen ongeveer twee uur achter op schema. In English, that translates to. Lambert, what have you got there, mate? Poop cheese, yeah. Cheese on a right, huh? That tops uh, Keister's. Is that a uh, Belgian um, thing? What is that? We have enough calories for three days. Okay. Okay. So this is your rationale? It's got, it's got protein, seven grams. Okay. How many calories in that bar? Not enough. He ignored the uh, no cussing sign there, mate. Excuse, pardon us, sir. The Belgian can be a cheeky lad, worse than yours truly. If the video doesn't convey it, this was a seriously steep grade. We are riding one handed, filming. This is not easy. Oh, so slow. And this scene concludes the video. Thank you for watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the Gravel Cyclist YouTube channel and don't forget to click the bell button to be notified of future videos as they appear on the channel. I'll see you in the next video.